product defaults in Sage 50 accounts. Applying product defaults speeds up the process of entering product and service information when creating new product or service records. Default values can be set for various fields associated with a product or service, meaning you don't have to manually enter the same information repeatedly. When creating several product or service records, some information, like item types, nominal codes, and VAT rates will apply to more than one record. To save time, enter this default data to automatically apply to all new records. Any information entered can still be amended on a record-by-record -record basis. Let's look at this now. From the settings menu, click Product Defaults. Only the Details tab is used when creating new product or service records. The Descriptions tab will be covered in a separate course. In the Default section, to set a default item type, click the drop-down, then choose from the options. Stock Item for an item you hold in stock, or non-stock for an item you don't. If you have Sage 50 Accounts Professional, you can also choose Service Item. The sales nominal code is the nominal code suggested by default when a product or service record is added to a sales order, invoice, or credit note. To change this, click the drop-down and select the required nominal code. The tax code is the VAT code most associated with the items you buy and sell. If most of your products or services are standard rated for VAT, click the drop-down and select T1. If you're not VAT registered, select T9 instead, so a VAT value is not separated from your figures. The purchase nominal code is available to Sage 50 Accounts Professional only. To assign a purchase nominal code to a product when creating a purchase order, leave this box empty. To assign a default purchase nominal code instead, click the drop-down and select the required nominal code. To define a default unit of sale for product or service records, manually enter the required unit in this box. You have up to eight alphanumeric characters. For example, if you sell products by the box, enter box. If you sell services by the hour, enter hours. If you've created categories to enable you to group similar product or service records together, from the drop-down, select the category to assign as the default. To assign your product or service records to departments, from the drop-down, select the required department that most product or service records will be assigned to. Departments can be managed by selecting the Departments module from the navigation bar. On Sage 50 account standard and professional, a product image can be stored in the web tab of each product record. By default, the image size will be maintained when displayed in the product record. To fit the image to the screen instead, click the drop-down and select Fit Image to Screen. If your business is based in the Republic of Ireland or Northern Ireland, when selling goods to VAT registered customers in other EU member states, you're required to include descriptive text on the invoice, advising what the VAT liability of the goods would be if they were being sold within your own country. From the EC VAT description drop-down, select the required option. Three default descriptions are provided, and a further four can be customized. In the Decimal Precision section, the quantities and unit prices of product and service records can be changed from the default of two decimal places, up to a maximum of six. To change the decimal precision of product quantities, from the Quantity DP drop-down, select the value required. To change the decimal precision of unit prices, from the Price DP drop-down, select the value required. Please note, these changes apply to all product and service records, including when added to orders, invoices, and credit notes. Once you're happy with the defaults applied, click OK. You've now learned how to apply defaults for any new product or service records created in Sage 50 accounts.